Stadium. Want to give a quick shout out to uh, the Kansas City Pioneers and the Royals for hosting this boot camp for us. Got to go in here and get uh, some work water. They play the Pioneers after, so it should be a good day of practice. So it'll be awesome. Heads up. Pioneers hooked it up, the Royals hooked it up, we got some sick jerseys that these guys are rocking. And we're just here to boot camp and prepare for a big weekend. You know, it's our third land out here and we're looking to make our best performance yet. Last event we're kind of negative, you know, we're kind of just like down on ourselves, but we just got to come in with like no stress on like the shoulders or anything, you know, it's like careless and free. So. We're playing our first tournament at the boot camp. We're about to play against Sentinels. I think it's like a two hour time block, so we're thinking like just to run all the, the objective game types. So there's like eight objective game types in this game, so we should have time to run like through all the objectives. We're about to play. Finally get some action. Yo, what's up guys? Just wrapping up our boot camp. Shout out Pioneers at the Royal Stadium. And then we got media tomorrow with HCS. And then on Friday our majors kicking off. Let's get it. The stash, man, he's growing it out, you know. It's, it's Mr. Boo Boo now. It's Mr. <laughs> Mr. Boo Boo. Refer to him as Sir. What up, what up, Sir? Is it like a full on set like it was at the. Uh, yeah, like, like Rally. Yeah, yeah. Like a little yeah, better. Like it's a little better. Like, 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 like a chair. No. It's just like a square <laughs> room and they have like little halo icons on it and they just use like. Thursday, so media day. Vibing out with the squad. We're doing stuff in front of the camera, man. I've been grinding way too much. I didn't have enough time to like shave it. I saw that stash. I was like, is he serious with that? Nah, but uh, he needs to shave it. Bro, why are you also worried about my mustache? Though? What do you think, Mike? Yeah, he definitely needs to shave it, for sure. <laughs> does he keep it? Does he trim it? Does he shave it all off? What is it, what nah, I think it strikes fear into the opponents. It is very distracted. I think we're used to it at this point, so it's just an art of distraction. I think it's a good way to get an advantage. Bro, I've been, I've been checking people out. Like, Formal already came up to me. He was like, dude, your mustache is checking me out. So, like, <laughs> I told, yeah, there you go. Looking straight. All right. I'll have to do a couple like look down at the ground. Like now you'll walk towards camera and at the end of the set. And then red. Boo boo with the stash is the boo boo we need. How's your travel here? Uh, pain the ass actually. What, what's your daily moisturizer treatment looking like? Whatever she can to me, tells me to apply. Got some good, good authentic belly laps in. Legion leads to a funny guy. Yeah, that's sick. That's real sick. All right, y'all, I'm a huge fan of uh, Face Glam. They placed third last tourney. I'm really thinking, you know Snipe's gonna do his thing. I really think Falcated's gonna step it up this tourney. Falcated, I feel like he's really just gonna push through and really get it. I'm phase in the top two, one or two for sure. Here to support my brother, so I've just been watching his games. I'm trying to grow out the mustache like him. Unfortunately, I can't really. It's not gonna happen. I'm Caleb. Uh, Jesse's like day one friend. I had to come out here and support him. There's so much experience in these roles. When you look across the board, both in phase and Navi. Navi got to kick their ass on main stage, so it'll be a good one. He's up. Let's go, phase. Let's go, Snipe City. Eventually, they are the team that comes out on top. A great effort. Just got finished with our first series of the day. Against Navi, it was a 3-0. It was pretty easy for us. We played Fnatic a little bit later, so we're going to keep warming up and keep dominating. They're going to win the whole thing. I don't, I don't care. That's, that's how it's going to be.
managed to cure that Achilles heel that they had in the game five. Only requiring three more kills. Make it one. And Bells and Slice. Behind us, which is going to be Optic Gaming versus Faith. Who on this Optic Gaming squad for you is going to be step up and really dominate this series? I mean, it's got to be formal. You talk about his return to Halo, you talk about the greatness that he's brought, but look at the level of consistency. It's a heavy push from Turbine from Optic. You see multiple members in phase are taken out and three go down. Up the gaming, starting strong, finishing strong so far here in Apple. All phase had an opportunity there in the middle of that first round though to come back and see what they can do. Top red sniping, dude. Top red full box sniping, full box sniping, guys. I'm middle right now. I'm middle with Angler. I'm middle with Angler. Careful. Unfortunate, but there's still a lot of Halo to be played this weekend, so got to shake it off and come back harder tomorrow. The biggest flaw as a team is we make things too hard on ourselves sometimes. If we can uh, fix that, we'll be good for tomorrow. Well, dude, every time we got weak, we saw Street Fighter uh, goes, bro. Like, we just did the same shit. We've done the same thing. We went to start strat, like, that game is completely different. It's flooding mid with everything. Uh, I got to rewatch it, but I swear there's like a couple times, like, in, throughout the middle of the game, it would happen like a couple times. Where we would get killed and we'd get numbers, but like, we would still be getting like out rotated. Like we won't, we won't go to the right spots to make them spawn no, bro, far that away. Hey, we're gonna come back strong tomorrow. You know, and I believe, I believe in them, bro. I went to breakfast with my brother and my friend this morning, and like, literally, just feels like I'm at home. Got done with pull play against complexity. We won 3 0, fun series. Top two from each pool advanced to the winner's bracket, so now we're about to play Cloud Nine. I'm excited. Let's go. Pays up. <laughs> hey, my name is Yasmin Shansarona. I am Snapdown's wife. We are here in Kansas City 2022 supporting the boys. They just made it to the winner's bracket, and let's see what happens next. Hey guys, this is Adam Sad Jerry. Um, we're so proud for Adam on his rookie season. Phase up, baby. We want to see him win. Anyhow, you could have two very equivalent players for skill goes, then you can bet. Wait, wait, wait. Kimball's one shot to B. Kimball's one shot to two. Let's go! We're just so proud of him. We, we couldn't be prouder. It's, it's awesome to see him here. Day here. We had a tough loss yesterday versus C9. We just beat G2 right now though, 3 0, and we play Quadrant next. Uh, we're up 2 0 in the series versus Quadrant. Got some really close games. One shot in the shot going here. 45! So guys down here, we just bowed out at six. United, GG2, all the people we played. You know, we finished top six again, it's whatever. Yeah, we're gonna come more prepared for Orlando. So, yeah, bowed out. It just feels like we got a lot of stuff to iron out. Just keep our momentum when we when we start winning games, and you know when things start getting hectic, just kind of tone it down and figure out how to play. And it seems like we just get ahead of ourselves and try doing too much and cost us that series.